Alright, what's up, Death Freedom Fighters? It's me, your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle, man. Sorry I haven't given you guys an update in a long time, man. I've just been super busy, man. And, uh, you know, on this debt freedom journey, on this fitness journey and things like that, you guys can check out my uh, One Up Nutrition Transformation Challenge Series, man. I'll link it below. Um, we are one week out from the finish. Um, I've been kicking ass, just doing all I can do. Uh, the top prize is $50,000 um, spread out through over 10 winners. Um, so I'm hoping to be in that top 10 um, and bring home some, some prize money, man, so I can put on this debt as well, man. So um, paid my car off, man. I'm super excited right now, man. And uh, you, you guys know... Um, I wanted to pay it. I wanted to pay it off in August, uh, and then things happened, man. I wanted to pay it off in September. Things happened, and you know, I was just able to. I, I had got. I had kept just come to the point where I just said, you know what? I can just pay it off by the end of the year. It's all good. And uh, but things, you know, were starting to progress a little bit. Uh, so I was able to put a little bit more money on the payments. I got the final payoff, and I was able to just finally pay it off, man, uh, this month in October. So, uh, with that being said, man, guys, you know how I roll. I don't have screen capture technology, so turn the camera around, and we'll get into uh, what I had going on uh, for the last couple months, all right? So, let's go, baby. All right, guys, so um, here we are, October 2019. Uh Sorry I haven't given you guys an update in such a long time, but man, just been grinding, just been paying this stuff down, paying things off, and uh, it's feeling really good, man. So let's get right into it. The latest thing I paid off, guys, is BAM! My car. <laughs> yeah, paid it off uh, this month. Um, so let's scroll back up. September... Um, you know, I paid off my daughter's braces, paid off, uh, paid off a couple things, but, um, so I was able to roll that, uh, minimum payment into my car payment, things like that, so, um, it was, it was, it was just, it was kind of rough because even going back up to August, like, um, my daughter's birthday is on the 21st of August, and then the next week, she started school again. Um, she has school fees. She's a cheerleader, so I had to pay for her cheerleading uniform and all of that good stuff and the fees for that. Um, and then going into September, then they had picture day. Um, they, she had uh, she, she just uh, school clothes, you know, things like that. So um, I kind of didn't factor that in when I was... Uh, trying to pay my car off in September uh, like I wanted so kind of had to just take a step back but it was all good um, so we are kind of over the hump with that so um, just I was grinding 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 uh, putting all kinds of money towards the car then I had a few repairs I had to get done on the car so that that put me back just a little bit um, had to get a few tires because uh, I drive for work guys. You're probably thinking like man Why is this guy always getting tires? But yeah, I drive for work So I drive to deliver papers in the morning and I drive uh, to clean buildings at night, too So we don't get any like mileage or anything like that um, I've mentioned that in other videos um, but anyway, so um, I Had my balance at 1367 and 14 cents um, however, I forgot, like, finance charges, late fees, things like that, um, that, um, and then I also had deferred a couple payments. I think you can defer two payments a year, um, so I deferred, like, two payments, so, you know, they tack that on to the end of the, the loan or whatever, um, so that amounted to $114.08, so, uh, so total payments for my car was uh, $1,481.22. So it's completely paid off. Um, just waiting for the title and things like that. Um, it is my parents' car. 
Um, but of course they're going to switch the title over to me. Um, so then it will be completely my car. So I'm really excited about that. Um, going into November, um, I do have to get the registration uh, renewed and all this. You know, get my tags and uh, my sticker and everything like that. So I'll be legal on these streets. <laughs> all right. So I'm really excited about that. Paid that off. Um, like a not a complete year, but a couple months. Or I, I paid it off a couple months early. I I mean. Um, so I'm just, I'm feeling really, really good about that. Uh, so let's keep it moving. Um, Credit One Bank, uh, that is the garnishment um, that comes out of my check. Total payments for that for October were $80.72, which was $39.44 on the 4th. And then I just got paid uh, and they took out $41.28 uh, for the 18th. Um, total payments on that, looking at my, uh, my pay stub here, uh, year to date total, uh, for the garnishment has been $394 and 14 cents. Um, I just got, I probably, I should have, I should have pulled it up, um, for you guys. Um, I just got my, my updated, uh, credit report from Credit Karma. So they do TransUnion and Equifax and my new credit score, guys, it sound, it's a bad number, but it's a good number right now. It was 666. <laughs> it has improved up to 666 uh, points for my credit score. Um, guys, when I started my debt-free journey, I was at like 570. Okay, so I am super excited about that. Just being consistent and paying my stuff down. Um, so I don't know whoever said that just paying your stuff off doesn't improve your credit score they're full of shit um because over this past year my credit score has been going up and up and up you know slowly but surely so i'm feeling really good about that as well um my Experian credit report showed i think it was like 646 or something like that it's usually always like 20 points less something like that but um but yeah so i'm feeling really good about that uh, my Washington Mutual that that's on the payment plan that still comes out. Um, so not worried about that. So going into November, really nothing has changed. I've already moved my car payment into the yellow spot um, up here, and for the rest of the year, uh, November, December. So, so yeah, guys, man, that's really about it. So let me know how you guys are doing with your debt freedom journeys, man. I mean, you know, if you got to take a break, you got to take a step back, man. It's okay. You know, life happens. I mean, we got Christmas coming up. We got Thanksgiving coming up, you know, the holidays. Um, you know, it's going to be, you know, sometimes you got to just take a step back from the debt free journey. It can be daunting, man, when you're looking at this, this big uh, mounting pile of debt, um, I, I am currently on, I'm currently doing, um, the one up nutrition, uh, summer transformation challenge, 12 week challenge. Uh, we have one more week to go on that. I'm hoping to get some good news on that. I've been kicking ass. So, uh, they pick, they pick 10 winners, uh, for a $50,000 prize, um, you know, spread out throughout the 10 winners. And so I'm hoping to be in that top 10, guys, and really, you know, because I want to put that money towards this debt and um, and knock some of this out. All right, guys. So, yeah, so so pray for me on that. Put me in your well wishes on that, man, that I that I am one of the top 10 finishers in that. It's not just one person winning $50,000, you know. So that's what I really like about this challenge. Um, uh, you can also check out the... Uh, the series that I've been doing on that as well, the One Up Nutrition uh, Transformation Challenge. Uh, I'll link it uh, with a card or uh, also in the description. All right, guys, so that's all I got for you right now. All right, guys, quick side note, man. Um, before I end the video, um, I had to recertify for my income-driven repayment uh, for my student loans, um, and I just got approved for that. So um, my current 
my current income driven repayment <laughs> is um, up at the end of the year. Um, but I had to recertify uh, by the end of next month. So I just, I want to, as soon as I got the email, I hurried up and just did whatever I was supposed to do. Um, they pull your tax information from the irs.gov. You, you have to give them permission um, and everything. And then you submit it uh, electronically. Um, they get the information very fast. And then they make their determination within like 48 hours. So from the time I got the email to the time it was approved was probably about 48 hours, about two days. So I'm really excited about that. So my payment, my minimum payment will still be zero dollars. So whatever money I'm putting on those student loans, it's going to be going more towards principal and not just all the interest. OK, um, which is a great thing. Um, I'm probably going to start paying on that next month because even though my car is paid off, I, I have a lot of repairs that I need to get done um, that I don't want to put off any further um, that. I, I've let go for probably a year or two now and they it's, it's starting to catch up with me so you know I don't want one thing to turn into something else you know down the line you know it might be this that and the third but then this that and the third is connected to this and so now that this has gone bad for so long now it's affecting it. you understand what I'm saying so um, got to get a couple things done on that uh, and like I said you know hopefully I'll be in that top 10 for the One Up Nutrition uh, Transformation Challenge, you know, and I can put some money on that as well. Um, also, I had to, like, we're we're getting into um, open enrollment season for healthcare. Um, as you guys know, going back to one of my earlier videos uh, in the year, I had um, got approved for Ohio Medicaid, which is free. Uh, health care for the year, free health and dental for the year. Um, I had, you know, cleanings done. Um, I just got a couple of fillings done, um, you know, all for free um, from, the, from the state of Ohio. Um, so I just, I just went down to the office to, uh, you know, re-sign up for that again. Hopefully I get it. I, if I don't, um, then I have to get Obamacare again, which is okay. But, you know, I'm hoping that I get it because it's like, guys, I, I want to kick ass on this debt. You know, all I have left really is my student loans. So um, hopefully I'll get approved for that. Um, that was a couple weeks ago. So I haven't heard anything uh, from them. So I'm going to go down or I'll give them a call uh, sometime this week and, uh, and see if I got approved for that. Usually they, they send something in the mail. I'm, I'm not too worried about it, but hopefully uh it just they take such a long time you know you want to you want to see if you've been approved as fast as you can so then when i have to sign up for obamacare um i can just tell them hey i've already been approved for medicaid you know this that and the third all right so that's all i got for you guys man let me know in the comment section below how you guys are doing with your debt freedom journeys and i will see you on the next one i love you and there's nothing that you can do about that baby it's your boy jay debt freedom journey continues i'm out Peace.